Um, so I traveled for about 10 years with Vassar Clemens, and we traveled all over, and I played. He and I would go and play and do a band or sometimes a duo, just the two of us. And then we would uh, play with the band after us, which was the Grateful Dead. We would sit in the whole night and play with them. And I got this, this wonderful thing. We used to play uh, when I lived in Nashville there. I, I moved to Nashville when I was 18 years old and started playing full time for a living for about 10, 15 years there in Nashville. And Vassar and I played every Tuesday night at the place called the Station Inn. Yeah. And uh, often, if they were not busy, people like Bill Monroe would come sit in. And Bill and I were real good friends. And so uh, he'd have a look. You could, I knew the look, and he would always let me know if he wanted to get up and play or if he just wanted to hang out and listen. So I would look, and Bill would go, and he'd get up and play all night with us if he wanted to sometimes. And it was just really great. Tuesday night was a good night down there. And uh, I've traveled all over the world and, and played with him and just so many people from Dolly Parton on down. But my best and most fun thing is to come into these camps like this. And particularly, my favorite one is this camp. There's something magical about it, as you all know. You've been here, and you, you have that feeling I do. And uh, we're just going to play a couple songs for you here. This first one is one that my friend Vassar uh, wrote. It's called The Lonesome Fiddle Blues. When I first was 18 and I moved to Nashville, there was this great music store called the Old Time Picking Parlor on 12th Avenue. And as soon as I moved to town, I didn't even unbox the stuff in my boxes uh, into the bedroom. I just said, oh, I'm going to go and see if there's jamming going on. So I jumped in my car and I went down, down there and uh, I went in and there was this guitar uh, and a mandolin playing really hot, really good stuff. And I said, hey, could I 
play some with you guys? And they said, sure. So I went and got my banjo out of the car and came back in there, sat down and started playing. I didn't know their names. And so the, the guitar player was Charlie Collins, who was a great guitar player, who played with Roy Acuff. But I didn't know that at the time. So we played two or three songs. He said, hey, wait a minute. I'm going to call my boss. He, he needs to hear you play. And I didn't know who his boss was. I didn't know who he was. So I said, sure. You know, and so he went over, got on the phone, and uh, about five or ten minutes later, in walked Roy Acuff. And I was, like, shocked, of course. And he came over and introduced me. And uh, he said, well, it's Friday night. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> and I said, well, I just got to town. He said, well, then you got to come and play at the Grand Ole Opry with me tonight. <laughs> and so I... I thought everybody who was a musician, that's how you get started. Uh, but it's, it's not true. A lot of folks don't get that opportunity. It was really uh, an incredibly lucky moment. So I went and played the Grand Ole Opry, and uh, Roy Ackiff was so nice to me, he went and talked to the security guard out back, and he said, this is James McKinney, I want you to meet him. Anytime he wants to come to the Grand Ole Opry on Friday or Saturday night, you always let him in the back door. And so from then on, from the moment I got there, I could go to the Grand Ole Opry and hang out with any musicians in the back and talk to them and go and visit around. So it was just a really great thing, and I became really good friends with everybody in Roy Acuff's band. And one of the guys was a dobro player. Uh, his real name was Pete Kirby, but his stage name was Bashful Brother Oswald. And uh, he was the first guy I ever saw do uh, this song we're going to play for you, uh, and he sang it. Uh, I had only heard it as an instrumental until that moment, and I learned it from him. And he taught me a little bit about frailing, and I'm a terrible frailer, uh, but I'm going to play just a little frailing in the middle of the song. When my pick's on, I can go into frailing and back to uh, picks with uh, a few secret tricks. And, and uh, so if you watch, you'll catch them. Um, so here's John Hardy. <laughs>
Thank, thank y'all so much, and so good to see all of you. Thanks.